What's up YouTube? It's Taylor. I've got Rover here and uh, Rover's making a little bit of a funny sound. I don't know if you can hear that. But um, yeah, that sound is letting me know that Rover is recording using the new stereo cameras I've got installed on Rover. Um, so if you look right here, oh yeah, that's a good angle. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've got um, in, uh, stereo camera it's from a PlayStation 4 and you've seen these cameras before I've got it finally hooked up to the Nvidia computer the Nvidia Jetson Xavier um, and two lasers of wire in the electrical domain battery so just another big battery pack here but um, whoo, um, get away from, whoo, hi Rover um, want to get away from the little recording indicator sound there for a minute but um, yeah, so I finally have an NVIDIA GPU in my desktop and home, and I've been doing some machine learning training. And that was huge motivation for me to finally install the NVIDIA computer again on Rover, and I'm gonna print a protective shell. So I've got kind of a new mechanical design compared to what I had back in, in January, February, some of my earlier videos this year. You saw that the computer was mounted, but uh, I flipped Rover over onto the computer a couple of times and it was totally exposed. So I took it off until I could do a better mechanical redesign. Um, and you see I've fixed Rover since the damage. Um, so printed a new suspension arm, except that when I printed that arm, um, uh, one of the dimensions moved because I made a couple of mechanical improvements and I didn't tack down one of the dimensions, which is the one that the spring mounts on. So Rover is a little crooked and I'm gonna reprint that. Um, actually, I installed a, um, the E3D Super Volcano hot end on my printer and the suspension arms, which used to take 30 hours to print, took nine hours to print. So um, that's some corroboration of E3D's data, which says that the Super Volcano is three times faster than the Volcano, which is what I was using before. So now that's three times faster print times on all of Rover's parts. The main uh, chassis in the middle used to take 80 hours, so I should expect a 3x improvement in that. Um, yeah, nine hours for the suspension arms means you can print them overnight. It's a huge deal. I'm using a 1.2 millimeter nozzle. The printer is the the, um, the TiVo Black Widow, um, which I don't recommend that printer actually. It's a really messy kit. Um, but um, large format printers are really fun. This is a 350 millimeter by 250 millimeter by, you know, that's, that's uh, X and Y by, you know, maybe 250 Z. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's talk about Rover just a little bit more here. Um, so NVIDIA Jetson Xavier computer, this is good enough to make a self-driving car. So my whole thing, the thing that I'm really interested in is um, a camera-based camera -based robotics. So, vi you know, vision-guided robotics, basically. Instead of using a LiDAR, which is a, continues to be a really expensive sensor despite a lot of promises and hope, um, uh, cameras are nice and inexpensive sensors, and it's just uh, really complicated algorithmically to be able to, to process the data. Uh, luckily, uh, machine learning is, uh, it's not magic, but one area it's got huge improvements on is our ability to do um, computer vision and processing. So with this kind of unnecessarily powerful computer, I should be able to kind of pull people's algorithms from GitHub, throw them on here, and, and see how they work. Um, I'm still learning machine learning, so... Oh, we're getting an airplane flying by. It's good for the audio. It's really good. Wait, hold on. How do I switch cameras? Oh, there it is. Maybe, maybe I'll cut that. Um, yeah, so um, I installed an NVIDIA GPU on my desktop computer at home, and I was able to take Google's uh, DeepLab V3 uh, image segmentation network, and I had some data. I collected a video of a trail in the forest with my cell phone and then uh, I labeled a hundred images out of a thousand images I pulled from that uh, video and then ran it on the other images and it looks like basically with overnight training on a nice GPU with a hundred labeled images I'm able to get trail segmentation image segmentation that that can show me what's trail and what's not trail um, obviously that's only going to work for kind of that specific environment it's not going to um, it's not necessarily going to translate to other domains, but um, now what I'm doing is basically because I got that video from the cell phone, I, I, I was able to do the training. 
Um, now I'm trying to record more video from the perspective of the stereo camera. So with the stereo camera, I'm going to do um, uh, stereo depth, and that's going to be really helpful in determining what's a drivable area for Rover, because Rover is able to handle rough terrain up to a limit, and I want to kind of play with that. I'm also extremely interested in image-based localization, and it looks like CVPR this year, 2019, just over the summer, they had a fantastic uh, uh, a workshop with a lot of speakers, a lot of papers submitted on the task of uh, vision vision-based localization. So, you know, where is the robot based on just camera images? Uh, so that's another thing that I'm uh, really interested in working on at home and, and, and working on with Rover. So, uh, yeah, and actually, let's see. So it should be recording stereo right now. So if we get down here at Rover's level, there's Rover. Um, yeah, maybe I can overlay Rover's video onto this. Um, hi, Rover. How are you? Da, da, da. Oh, coming closer, further away. Yeah, that's... That's some kind of video. Um, yeah, and this is just really fun. You know, just laying in the grass with my robot. So um, I got a trail behind me, the trail from the big video I released. I'm gonna take, uh, take Rover up that trail and um, that'll be Rover's first stereo images of a trail from Rover's perspective. And from there, I will try to train some image segmentation on the trail images and then try to run that uh, online to get Rover to steer and follow the trail. That's gonna be fun. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Bye.